It's your boy Saga on the almighty y'all father. You see my face, nigga, it's hip hop in your face. Punk. How many people you've been seeing like the the savior of New York hip hop? How, mm -hmm. how do you see that yourself? I agree. You agree? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, like on some real shit. It, it, hip hop, hip hop losses is losses roots, and that's what that's why it's fucked up. Right. That's why I don't sell no more. People are like nobody's selling no more. It ain't selling because they lost it. It's corny now. Like anybody could be. I was just telling another dude. Anybody could be a rapper now. Just a gimmick. Shit. It's like biting. Biting back in the day, you would get called out for biting. You couldn't be a biter. You couldn't steal people's lines and steal people's flow. That was no, biting. Exactly. Now, like <laughs> they allow it. They allow it to go down. We got a we got a name for people like that. They call sucker MCs, man. Word. I'm telling. What happened to the sucker MC? Right. <laughs> sucker MCs. We coming for y'all this year, man. No more sucker MCs. Word. If we get rid of all the sucker MCs, hip hop would be good again. So you'll be saying you'll be bringing it back. Exactly. Oh, that's what's exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Like um, on the whole Papoose thing, like you and Papoose are two MCs, and you're dropping yeah. a lot of shit, and from the new guys that represent New York, you know. Mm -hmm. um, do you see Papoose as competition, or do you see as someone who you could call that with in the future or something? No, nah, no, nah, we Papoose is not competition for me. Right. Nah, he, we cool and all that, but I don't see him as competition. Like we're in competition. I, I think he's a good artist. You know, he do what he do. I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can coexist and like, I wish him the best of luck. You know what I'm saying? Because because cool. I know my album's crazy. I want to hear the not I believe that. I want to <laughs> hear his album because I know my shit is <laughs> out of here. So right. if his shit is anything close to mine, he'd be alright. Alright, that's a nice. That's a nice. <laughs> So, so all this shit with like record labels and sample clearance and man, it's a red is it, tape. Man. Isn't that really like the demotivating shit? Man? Hell yeah, like, man! Is it even worth it, like you, going through it for for no, another feature album, like a full feature album? Yeah, you know? the shit don't even make sense because when you come into the game, you don't see all this bullshit. It's all about money. What? These motherfuckers are so greedy, right? Like greed is one of the four devils. It's like lust, envy, greed, jealousy, one of seven sins. Yeah, exactly. So. Why? How is it so obvious that y'all can come being so greedy, and just act like you're righteous, and then come in in the name of righteousness? Like, oh no, I like love. Especially yeah, in hip hop like, culture. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, come on. This ain't what this shit is about. The system and the exactly, and all, you know? exactly. That's what it was about. That's what I came for. I was just telling them there used to be social commentary in the music. The message was the first big rap song. Exactly. Broken glass. Every we was talking. It was a cry for fucking help. Like look at the South Bronx. Look at crack. Look what crack is doing to our neighborhood. Exactly. Look, this is a don't push me because I'm close to the edge, motherfucker. I'm about Word. to lose my mind. And on top of that, like, ask new cats what, for instance, Zulu Nation is. Nobody knows what that is. Yeah, they doing. don't know. And, and the beliefs of that shit. Yeah, are where's X Clan? Where's BDP? Exactly. Where's, exactly. where's the exactly. teacher? We need the, the t KRS with the teacher. Everybody talking about, I'm the king of New York. Like he said. Kings lose crown, but teachers stay intelligent. Word, Where, word. Where's the teachers at? There's word. no more teachers. Everybody wants to be king. I knew shit from Marley and, and, and crazy. K West was the crazy. shit. I loved it. Crazy. And I told Marley that like it was crazy. I come back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you seen the video or what? The video is retarded. Retarded. I'm like, why MTV ain't playing this shit? All of a sudden, Jam is coming yeah. in that shit like, oh that my. That shit God. is retarded. That was like, girl, he's crazy. Uh, like, like, somebody oh was, <laughs> somebody was really love KRS. Like, which MC from the past or the future, or maybe now, yeah. could tip on you, like, could top the shit that you're trying to bring on the best possible way you're trying? Could top it? Yeah, or equal it or whatever. Or balance um, it out at least. Of all time? Ice Cube. Really? Uh, yeah, Ice Cube. Okay. What's Ice the reason about it? Because you Because he he um he was able to be gangster, be political, have a message <laughs> all at the same time. Sure. He was able to do he everything. Even do the comedy movies. Exactly. He could do everything. You could never put him in a category. Yeah, he's a real You could never say he's thing. he's con he has songs be true to the game, songs like conscious rec records. Yeah. But you could never say he's a conscious MC because he's also NWA. Yeah, word. He's exactly. also the, yeah, the exactly. father of gangster rap, so you couldn't, you couldn't you couldn't pigeonhole him. And a lot of time, like you look at certain artists, they easily pigeonhole. Exactly, he could have Friday and the next day be on the up and smoke talk. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Personally, I preach prophecy. These punks pulling out poems about pivot pushing their property. Please, people ain't prepared to be persuaded by political paraphrases they printed in the 
the paper. What about the politics then? Would you be going into politics after, like, say, entourage? Not, not, not <laughs> politics as the, as the way we know them. I do it. I do politics the way they used to do them back street in the day. Street what? politics. Like the hip hop. Malcolm X with, with the xylophone on the corner. Hey, motherfucker, clean up your community. Get this fucking drug dealers out of here. You know what I mean? What? Like that. So that's sounding very positive, like how you approach hip hop and yeah, um, it's, it's powerful. And that's the whole thing. Like, um, I've got a question here. There's like, if you had the chance to to scrap your your time that you did, you know, in the pen and. What, could you like move it out your life? Would you choose to do that? No or, way. You say like that's made me like no a way. As well? No, that's the best thing that ever happened to me. Just opening eyes or something. It opened so many of my eyes. So many doors of my mind were open from that experience. I started to read in there. Like I didn't care about books before I went to jail. I'm like fuck a book, a book. I don't. Want, I don't got time to sit down and read this. I didn't care about nothing. I didn't have patience. The reason why I'm able to wait so long for my project. It's because of my experience in prison. I learned patience. Oh, that's a good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well. I learned how to be patient and understand when things are meant to happen. That's when they're gonna happen. So it balanced out your soul or something. Exactly. Like yeah, you man. Started rapping in jail, right? Um, or, seriously, yeah. Yeah. I was always bullshit freestyling. So, so how do you see the the uh, the gun laws in the states? This is my my philosophy. They should make it. If you get caught with a gun, it's automatic 25 years. Watch how many people ain't gonna touch one. Yeah, that's some real Niggas shit. Niggas would be fist fighting again. <laughs> 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 Niggas be in the street like this, knuckling up. Cause they're not gonna they're not gonna want no gun. I don't want no part of a gun. Like JD Kip said one line on that Why song. Yeah. He said, How they gonna give you twenty five for a murder, fuck around, turn around and give you a year for a burner? <laughs> that's yeah. what you gonna kill a nigga with. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Because they 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 don't understand it's like giving a nigga enough rope to hang itself. Hey, the guns are so easily accessible where we come from. They can go down the street and buy a gun like you can buy a fucking bag of potato chips. Yeah, that's crazy. It don't make sense. That's crazy, but when but what, and, and Jake they, Jackson pop a titty on TV, all and it's crazy, going exactly. Nuts. And that's they crazy. say they say they're not controlling that. So why I can't go get a grenade that easy? Why is it so hard to get a fucking rocket launcher, but I can go get a fucking pistol like this? Cause they know what I'm gonna do with that pistol. What? I'm gonna go back to the hood. <laughs> Give me your chain, motherfucker. Yeah, thank you. Oh shit, I got power with this shit. And, and they, they understand what it is. This is all by design. It's 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 set up. Burn. <laughs> So on top of all the 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 like showy things and weird twisted laws on that, like how the fuck can somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger like the governor be the governor and go into politics? What's your view on that? Like it's, it's America, man. America. Everybody says that, but what does it mean? Yeah, it's like, America. It's America. Yeah, like, love Los Angeles. There's no problem. <laughs> nah, nah. We love everyone. Schwarzenegger has been very good. <laughs> Fuck Mr. Schwarzenegger. You were, you were freaking out like, he's okay, now what? He's a scumbag. You want to be back? Yeah, we saw he's that shit. He's, American. he's a scumbag. He's not even American. Uh. And he's a motherfucking governor. How the fuck did that happen, man? Like, really? It's America, man. It's smoke and mirrors. Paris Hilton is the biggest celebrity in America for not doing nothing. This bitch got no talent, can't do shit. And she's the biggest celebrity in America. For what? <sighs> I party. <laughs> I'm the best party. Hey, nobody parties like Paris. <laughs> Who parties like me? This bitch is on the news more than, more than George Bush. You want me to say something? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I hear a lot of old school influences in, oh, the, so in the lyrics and, uh, and yeah, the beats. Man. And I'm a hip hopper, man. Like fat boys. You're so not that old, yeah. so how come? Yeah. I was wondering. Because I grew up, my mom used to rap. It's the last one? Yeah. My mom used to rap. My mom used to, my mom was locked up. And she, when she came home, she was spitting hard body. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, that's cool. <laughs> okay. I was like, my mom was nice and shit. You know what I mean? I was a baby, man, but I always, always, always loved hip hop music. I remember I got the UTFO tape <laughs> and I went crazy. That's the shit. Fucking yeah, I'm, Thanks, yeah, man. I'm we'll about it. About it. <laughs> I was a baby, man. We want to keep you longer from your show. We're going to check out what you're going to do. Listen up for yourself, for hip-hop, 
for Amsterdam. 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 Amsterdam.